So welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to talk about the common yarrow. This is the Archelia millefolium. <laughs> I'll get the words right. But this is the most amazing plant and I've been eyeing it for a while. So a few months ago, I did go and get one or two, let's say three, and I planted it in my garden. Now the thing is, is that it is so beautiful and so delicate because if you look at the leaves, look at that. They're so fine and flat and they actually look like a fern or just resemble feathers. And then the next thing is you look at the flowers. So I have a lilac one and I have a white one, which slightly with a lilac tint. But if you look at this flat surfaced flower is there are so many flowers in there. It's actually a cluster of little flowers. Now the thing is, because of the shape of the flowers and having that flat top, it's so easy for the butterflies or for any of these loving insects to come and sit on top of it because it does give it a really good support. So basically, the yarrow, or let's say the common yarrow, is a family of the aster, which includes the daisies. Now, the other thing about the yarrow is that they come in so many different colors, is I've seen yellow ones, I have seen beautiful peach colored ones, and basically they're all the same, but then there are some hybrids that you do get, and they are quite tall, up to about three feet tall. So when you do go and buy your yarrow, just get more information. Now the other thing I'd like to point out is that they do say yarrow is invasive but a lot of these new hybrids are not invasive so you can introduce it in your garden and I would introduce if I had more colors I would just have them everywhere. The other reason why I like my yarrow plant is also for the name. Achillea millefolium. Now this is actually named after Achilles and we all know about the Achilles heel and the thing is about it is that it's a medicinal plant and they say that if you do have excessive bleeding is that with this particular plant it can actually stop bleeding the bleeding but again I am not an expert on medicinal plants and I think if you want to get more information do talk to the appropriate people but let's look at my plant and let's learn to love it so my name is Alice and I'm the red soil gardener Now the thing is the yarrow plant is a herbaceous perennial. Now what are the requirements? It does like a full sun and it's not particularly um, it's not particularly fussy about soil but the soil has to be well drained. Now I need to give you a bit of history here is this patch as you see is where I do have the yarrow growing. Now this must have been, I think I planted it in, um, in March this year. So we're talking about a few months, four or five months ago. Now at this patch of the garden is I do have foliage and at certain times of the year you do get certain trees that do lose their leaves and I get full sun here and that was the initial idea is to have them here because I got full sun. But because we've had rains, we're in the cold season and a lot of the foliage is happening, is that it's not working very well for my yarrow, but not to worry. Now, why I actually wanted to show you this patch is what happens is that when the yarrow plant doesn't get full sun, what happens is it starts growing very lanky and this is what I have here. So the whole idea with my yarrow plant, I'm going to uproot it here and then move it into a sunny location. But this is where it was happening before. But on the other hand is that as we're in August, 
and going into September, which is our flowering season, all the jacaranda flowers, the cassia flowers, and all this will actually uh, lose all their leaves and we will get full sun. I may just cut some of that yarrow down and then wait for September when it's nice and hot and dry and all the leaves have fallen from the trees. But that means my yarrow for September, October and a bit of November, I may get a lot of blooms. So this is what I'm doing. So I got my scissors here in my sleeve and we're just going to cut, show you what I'm going to do is actually go down here and I take my yarrow like this and I'm going to cut it down like that to ground level and do this to all of them. So I've finished this lot, I've taken it down and the other thing what I did make a mistake is I did put some fertilizer and the problem is that when you do do fertilizer sometimes with the yarrow is it increases the foliage but doesn't give you so many blooms so when I do eventually clean this patch up I'm just going to put very lightly a bit of um, sort of like mulch on top of it and wait for it to sprout out again hopefully when, when my trees lose their leaves in September and then we'll look at this patch together. So now we're back here and I've actually taken a yarrow and we want to look at the root structure so we can understand the plant. Now this is one plant and what I've noticed this here where the stem is this was originally the one mother plant, this one. Now what happens is, is that every single yarrow plant has a rhizome and we've done rhizomes before, now we understand it, so it's really quite simple. And out of the rhizome is where you get your babies and this is all these little things here, all these little plants are actually the babies from the rhizome. So if you look at the mother rhizome here with its centerpiece, it's here with one straight rhizome and all these little shoots are the babies. So basically, if you want to do um, a propagation, all you need to do is pull it from the rhizome, just like that and each baby will form its own rhizome so I wouldn't be too scared about that and as I pull all these little babies off is there is the mother with its rhizome So basically, you can understand why they say that the yarrow is invasive because this is just one plant and look how many babies it's been able to produce. But again, is with the yarrow, it is a lovely plant. So what you need to do is constantly keep your eye on it. And if it does start spreading, which it does spread quite fast, is uproot it and put it in different parts of your garden that, so that you don't get all this congestion. Because when yarrows, when they do grow too close together, as we've seen in other places, is sometimes with the too much foliage surrounding the plant is you could get mildew or stem rot. So it's always best to try to separate it so you get more of an air circulation around the plant. So here we've done propagation of the rhizome and then the other thing is that when the, when the yarrow does eventually dry and a lot of people do use the dried flowers for displays because it does give you that sort of really nice flat top and all those lovely like sprinkles is 
once it does dry is that you can collect the seeds and then again put it you know propagate it through seeds i was actually trying to see if i could get the seeds out but it rained last night so i can't really take out the seeds but we will do that another time but you can do it through propagation of seeds and they are quite fast growing now what i was planning to do with these ones is i do have another spot where i've created a new garden but i thought i can actually keep them there because it is a place where i do get full sun and so come let's go and try to plant these <laughs> and then we look at it come this way So this is where I plan to plant it. This is my new garden where I have all my new daisies, my shatso daisies. And I'm going to plant here because I have put a few of them here. And I just want to see how it grows because I know with these shatso daisies, I have to actually try to stake them up. But this patch here, I thought would be really nice for the yarrow because um, I have some here, but it has a bit of space. So I'm just gonna plant these. So we're done. My yarrows are happy in the soil and it did rain so we have all this mud happening and we'll keep a check on it. So this is where I think they will be happy and as I have the other family members already sprouting out and once we do have the sun again in September and October they will just flower and flower and I'll be very happy. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Don't forget to like and share and also subscribe. Don't forget to press that notification button so you're always uh, informed when we do upload every Tuesday check our Instagram out we always do post on Instagram and DM me and I'll always answer and really have a lovely day and do get a yarrow people do say it is invasive but there are a lot of non-invasive yarrows out there so it depends on how you want what you feel about it but do go and get yourself and there are some amazing flowers colors so do that. So have a nice day and thank you so much. Bye bye.